वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला दिस इज डॉक्टर अंकुश शंबारदार फ्रॉम कुरुक्षेत्र यूनिवर्सिटी कुरुक्षेत्र टुडे आई विल बी टचिंग अ टॉपिक फ्रॉम टूरिज्म एंड हॉस्पिटैलिटी दैट इज फ्रंट ऑफिस ऑपरेशंस एंड मैनेजमेंट एंड द टॉपिक आई विल बी डीलिंग टुडे वुड बी इंट्रोडक्शन टू हॉस्पिटैलिटी इंडस्ट्री इन दिस यूनिट वील बी टेकिंग केयर ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग द मीनिंग ऑफ हॉस्पिटैलिटी कंसेप्ट ऑफ हॉस्पिटैलिटी इंडस्ट्री कंप्लेक्स स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ हॉस्पिटैलिटी इंडस्ट्री various sectors of hospitality industry and the characteristics or the features of hospitality industry so when it comes to hospitality hospitality is the act of kindness in welcoming and looking after the basic needs of customers or strangers mainly in relation to food drink and accommodation the dictionary defines hospitality as the friendly and generous reception and entertainment of guests a contemporary explanation of hospitality refers to the relationship process between a customer and a host the oxford english dictionary explains hospitality as the act or practice of being hospitable the reception and entertainment of the guests visitors or strangers hospitality can be defined as the generous and cordial provision of service to a guest the term hotel has common root with the notion of hospitality hotelery hospital hospec and host hospitality can be described as the spread practice equally or act of receiving and treating strangers and guests in a warm friendly and generous way without any consideration for the reward and or return of late the concept of hospitality has emerged as a buzzword and a metaphor in the hotel industry to set forth for the employees of the industry a peculiar model relationship with the customers concept of hospitality industry when it comes to hospitality industry it includes the companies or organizations which provide accommodation food and drink and to people who are away from home many people have tried to describe the hospitality industry in different ways some tried to summarize the scope of the industry and its characteristics of involving both tangible and intangible features in the service delivery process others attempted to describe the industry by exploring the stakeholders involved mutual benefits generated and the industry's impacts to the society and economy King 1995 identifies difference between private and commercial hospitality where private is defined as acts by individual towards individual in a private setting such as the home and commercial hospitality is defined as meals beverage lodging and entertainment provided for profit King also provides us with four necessary parts of hospitality namely a relation between individuals a host guest relationship second this relation can be commercial or private in a commercial relation the guest has the obligation to pay and to behave reasonably the guest has the power as opposed to private hospitality where an equality of power is assumed next a key element is having knowledge of what would invoke great pleasure in the guest and next hospitality is a process that includes arrival which involves greeting and making the guest feel welcome during stay with departure the hospitality industry is a broad category of fields within service industry that includes lodging event planning theme parks transportation cruise line and additional fields within the tourism industry when it comes to hospitality in modern setting kips and thompson in 1990 associated hospitality in the modern sense with four characteristics features qualities of this industry as it is conferred by a host on a guest away from home it is interactive involving the coming together of provider and receiver it comprises a blend of tangible and intangible factors 
and the host provides for the guests security and psychological and physiological comfort. The four attributes, if put to practice, deliver the desired feeling of at home. There is no single definition of hospitality, but on the basis of above discussions, hospitality can be defined as relationship process between a guest and a host, and it also refers to the act or practice of being hospitable, that is, the reception and entertainment of the guests, visitors, or strangers with liberty and goodwill. Hospitality is also known as the act of generously providing care and kindness to whomsoever is in need. On the basis of above definitions, hospitality and hospitality industry can be defined as the friendly and generous reception and entertainment of guests, the act or practice of being hospitable, the reception and entertainment of guests, visitors or strangers with liberty and goodwill, generous and cordial provision of service to a guest, the spread practice, equality or act of receiving and treating strangers and guests in a warm, friendly, and generous way without any consideration for the reward and or return. Hospitality is commonly defined as something related to the friendliness, kindness, and hospitable. Hospitality industry includes the companies, the organizations which provide food and drink, accommodation to people who are away from home. The hospitality industry, as any combination of the three core services of food, drink, and accommodation, with a blend of tangible and intangible elements and the service, atmosphere, and image that surrounds the guest. Hospitality industry is a broad category of fields within service industry that includes lodging, event planning, theme parks, transportation, cruise line, and additional fields within the tourism industry. Hospitality comprises a blend of tangible and intangible products, security, psychological and physiological, comfort to the guests. Now let us talk about sectors of hospitality industry. When it comes to hospitality industry, it can be categorized into four sectors. Number one, namely lodging or accommodation, second, food and beverage, third, travel and tourism, and fourth, sports and entertainment. Let's take first, lodging or accommodation. Lodging or accommodation is important and broad sector of hospitality industry. This sector has wide scope ranging from B&B establishments to wide amenities a hotel can offer. During travel, the most important facility traveler would require is accommodation. Lodging sector provide wide range of products and facilities to the guests ranging from average room facility to luxury suites and peace and calm place to live which is close to nature to hotel in the heart of the city which is near to all important business centers. When it comes to types of hotels, we generally find business hotels, airport hotels, resort hotels, suite hotels, bed and breakfast establishments, homestays, extended stay hotels, timeshare vacations, rentals, casino hotels, conferences and convention centers, independent or single owner hotels, chain hotels, so on and so forth. Taking the second sector is food and beverage. When it comes to food and beverage, it is another wide sector of hospitality industry. People are always looking forward for food when they are traveling. Even people have started visiting different regions of world for food tourism. This sector also covers wide range of establishments such as fast food joints, catering businesses, takeaways, and transport caterings, etc. Food and beverage industry is further subcategorized into niches. Apart from different types of outlets, most hotels operate multiple F&B outlets, products, and services such as bar, fine dining, restaurants, coffee shops, banqueting, 
launches, etc. Coming to the third sector, that is travel and tourism. Travel and tourism industry is one of the important sectors of the hospitality industry with lots of opportunities and scope across the globe. This is a complex industry made up of many different businesses. The common theme being that they provide products and services to people who are traveling from one place to another place. The most usually accepted definition of tourism is that provided by the World Tourism Organization. It says tourism comprises the activities of persons traveling to and staying in places outside their usual environment for not more than one consecutive year for leisure, business, and other purposes. Tourism is a complex industry made up of many different businesses. The common theme being that they provide products and services to tourists. Tourism means the contemporary short-term movement of people to destinations outside the places where they normally live and work. Tourism is applicable to both international and domestic tourists. It is the temporary movement of people to destinations outside their normal place of work and residence. Tourism includes all economic activities which are organized around the needs of such travelers. Any travel for spiritual reasons, holidaying, business, or professional trip becomes a part of tourism. It is the temporary and is undertaken voluntary without an aim to earn any livelihood out of it. Based on UNWTO definition on tourism, tourism could be categorized as domestic tourism. It is concerned with traveling within the country. Another is international tourism. This kind of tourism is the movement of inbound and outbound tourists across the border where tourists are exploring a new tourism environment, entering into a new country or by leaving their country of origin for experiencing new destinations. International tourism further is divided into two types, that is inbound tourism and outbound tourism. Travel and tourism industry is a complex industry made up of many sectors. Travel and tourism sector consists of lodging sector, transportation sector, ancillary services, trade organizations, and most important, travel agencies and tour operators in a role as middlemen who combine tourism activities and work and think between customers and tourism service suppliers, that is airlines, hotels, restaurants, car hire companies, and companies that operate reception services at destinations, and thereby promoting the development of the hospitality industry. The other sectors inside travel and tourism include attractions. Tourist attraction is a place of interest where tourists visit for the inherent or accepted nature or cultural value, historical significance, natural or built beauty, or offering leisure, adventure, and amusement. A physical or cultural feature of a particular place that tourists perceive as capable of meeting one or more of their specific leisure-related needs. It can be climate, culture, vegetation, or scenery, or specific to a location, such as a theater performance, a museum, or a waterfall. An attraction is a destination that pulls a person to it. Attraction are the main pull factors of tourists' flow. Without these attractions, there would be no need for other tourist services. However, the attractiveness of a destination vary from tourist to tourist. In general, tourist attractions can be categorized into two types, natural attractions and man-made attractions. Man-made attractions are physical structure, like Red Fort in Delhi, or events like Kite Festival at Gujarat. Natural attractions are physical phenomena deemed unusual and or beautiful, like weather, snowfall, hills, mountain, sea. Next is travel agents. Travel agents help the travelers to plan 
their trips during vacations. They provide their assistance to tourists for plan and purchasing the tour components from airline tickets and car rentals to resort stays and attraction tickets. Tour operators assemble all the services together and make a tour package which includes everything from arrangement of appropriate transport to hotel stays and restaurant reservations to tour guides, theater reservations and sports lessons. With the evaluation of airlines, the opportunities for travel agencies has also gained momentum hike. Most of the essential services are primarily provided by travel agents include transport, road, air and water, accommodation, passport and visa procuring facilities, foreign exchange and also guidance and information about the places of travel. Many travel agencies sell packages on commission basis offered by inbound operators. Travel agents is a retailer and sells the tour package on behalf of wholesaler, that is the tour operator. Travel agent works in horizontal integration with the purpose to gain maximum business and revenue. They act as intermediary between tour operator and consumer for selling the tour packages. They earn commission for selling of tour packages of tour operators. They also act as local agents to confirm the services booked by tour operators. Next is tour operators. Whereas tour operators on the other side link, are a link between customers, that is tourists, and primary service providers, that is hotels, airlines, railways. Tour operators are also called wholesalers and they are the destination promoters. They purchase the services in advance from service providers and distribute them through the channel in the methodological and organized manner. So tour operator is an organization and a firm or company with the experience and capacity to buy individual travel components separately from different suppliers and assembles them into attractive packages by adding markup. It is sold in different price tag to customers directly or through the middlemen, that is the travel agents. Tour operators develop travel itineraries and deliver all the services which have been offered in the itinerary. They also customize the packages as per the requirements of consumers. They operate in a system. They sign long-term contracts with all the principal suppliers such as air carriers, hotels, cruise liners and other suppliers. Tour operators may owe one or two components of tour, that is transport or hotel. They print brochures displaying each component of services. Package tours are sold through travel agencies or directly to the consumers. The other part is ancillary services. When it comes to ancillary services, it refers to organizations that do not have a direct role in travel and tourism, but play a supporting role by offering related products and services. Travel agencies sell holiday packages and services related to travel such as flight tickets, railway reservations, car rentals, and so on. But they offer a wide range of other services to the travelers and earn extra revenue. For example, they offer insurance services to the travelers, foreign exchange, help in car hire, tour guiding, arrangement of theater, or event tickets. Travel companies earn commission on the sale of these services. So ancillary services are an important source of extra income. There are a growing number of companies that specialize in offering, in offering ancillary services. Next component is transportation or accessibility. Accessibility is key to success of travel and tourism industry. A transport system acts as a bridge between places of tourist origin and destination. It provides accessibility to its tourist places. The modes of transportation are road, that could be private car, coach, taxi, bus, bicycle, recreational vehicles, rail, that is regional services or intercity routes, high speed services, steam trains, water, like ferries, cruise ships, yachts, so on and so forth, air, 
scheduled services, charters, flights, and air taxis. Next is trade associations. There are a number of travel trade associations like TAAI, ICAO, ASTA, IATA, and PATA, WTO, that are quite active to the promotion of travel and trade business. Tour operation business is governed by government policies and programs. This business involves handling for foreign tourist receipt, foreign currency, processing of travel documents, and operating in protected areas, including restricted travel areas. Thus, there is a need for travel trade associations to represent the interests and issues to the government or any international tourism or allied bodies. The other part is features or characteristics or nature of hospitality industry. The first thing in it is intangibility. Products are tangible and services are intangible in nature. Hospitality products are services which are intangible in nature. Intangibility is often used to describe the services that cannot be seen, tasted, or touched. A service is made and delivered on spot, and hence it cannot be measured as easily as a tangible product. For example, if consumer have paid for an online ticket, but he, she has no idea how his travel will be, at best she rely on the promise of the airline that the travel will be experienced to remember. But again, there is nothing tangible about the promise. Next is perishable or limited lifespan. One of the crucial factors, problems faced by marketers is the perishable ability factor in services marketing. Perishability is one of the most important characteristics of the hospitality industry. The products, services in the hospitality industry are consumed as they are produced. Hotel rooms and aircraft seats cannot be warehoused for future sales. When a hotel room is not booked tonight, it can't be stored today and sold tomorrow. Next is inseparability. Products are usually created, stored, purchased, and then used, while the hospitality products are purchased first and then produced and consumed simultaneously at the same place and time. Most travel products are first sold and then produced and consumed at the same time. Next is wearability. Hospitality product service varies from hotel to hotel, time to time as each service is unique. It is one time generated, rendered and consumed and can, can never be exactly repeated as the point in time, location, circumstances, conditions. The equality or the quality of the product may vary greatly depending on who provides them and when, where and how. Next is product service mix. A successful hospitality business not only delivers its products and services to their cu customers, but also takes care of how they are delivered. In the hospitality industry, customers or consumers consume mixture of products and services. For example, one who dines in a restaurant will not only pay for the food and drinks, but the services provided by the servers. The bill has covered both tangible and intangible experiences. Tangible features, for example, a steak as the main course, a glass of drink, well-groomed service staff, and decoration of the restaurant. An intangible feature is like a comfortable dining atmosphere or the friendly attitude of staff. Next uh, characteristics is customer relationship management, building strong Customer relationship is important for survival of hospitality industry. The hospitality industry highly depends on repeated customers for, a, for survival, for generating stable revenue, building long-term relationships with customers can benefit the organizations regardless of the fluctuations in the demand. Not only has this customer relationship helped in strengthening the brand reputation through positive word of mouth, through repeated customers. In order to develop brand loyalty, different methods are currently supplied or applied by the lodging and food service sectors, such as membership programs, 
which give privilege and incentives to frequent customers, such as Marriott Hotel Rewards. Next characteristics is seasonality. The hotel industry is characterized by seasonality, which plays a major role in acquiring the customers or determining the consumer behavior. Customer demand and expectations fluctuate according to seasons which are categorized as low, green, and high peak. This results to variations in tourist demands ranging from beaches, safaris, parks, resorts, hills, and so on. The peak season attracts more tourists than other seasons, and the recurrence has resulted to perpetual trends in the hotel industry. To be effective, revenue and yield management strategies need to be considered. Now to summarize the, the chapter, it can be concluded that hospitality industry is integration of many other service industries such as lodging, FNB, transportation, entertainment, event planning, theme parks, cruise liners, and so on. Growth of each industry is dependent on others' industrial growth. But one of the most defining aspects of all industries is that each sector under hospitality industry focuses on customer satisfaction. Another defining aspect of all sectors is that hospitality is its reliance on disposable income and leisure time. Hospitality industry offers unlimited opportunities to youngsters. Hospitality industry helps or boosts the economy of the country by creating employment opportunities for the locals by paying various taxes to the government. This industry also helps promoting local traders through tourist shoppings at destinations. The growth of hospitality business offer many opportunities to even small operators and communities. This is why numerous developing as well as developed countries all around the globe are encouraging the growth and development of hospitality industry. Thank you for watching EPG Patshala. This was Dr. Ranku Shambarda from Kurukshetra University.